Alright, so the first step to getting one of these things is to get a pipe weapon. After you get a pipe weapon, you're gonna need to get a fat man, which is the mini nuke launcher. The closest location to Sanctuary to get a Fat Man is going to be the Robotics Disposal Ground. It's really, really close to Sanctuary, and there's no enemies near it or anything, and you can literally just walk up and pick it up like you see on screen right here. It's kind of hidden, like, back behind the cars, behind the big robot. After you got a Pipe Weapon and a Fat Man, you're going to need to reach level 41. Put at least 6 of those levels into Intelligence, and then get level 4 Gunnut and level 4 Science. Next up, you're going to need to go to a weapons workbench and craft an MIRV launcher for the Fat Man. Of course, it's crafted in the weapons workbench under the Fat Man modifications. Now, re-equip the standard launcher, but keep the MIRV launcher mod in your inventory. Now, go ahead and just name the Fat Man 1 and the Pipe Weapon 2. This is going to ensure that the Fat Man is ordered right above the Pipe Weapon. Now, just go ahead and save the game real quick before we move up to the next step, and if you're in survival mode, go ahead and sleep before moving forward. Alright, so this is it. What you're going to want to do is hover over the fat man named 1 and press the scrap button immediately followed by the modify button. They're almost pressed at the exact same time, but the modify button is literally pressed like a millisecond after the scrap button. If done right, you're going to see this screen right here. It should ask for confirmation that you want to scrap the item while in the background you can see the standard launcher and MIRV launcher modifications. If you take too long to press the modify button and accidentally scrap the weapon, just load back the save you made before we started this. If you do it correctly and see this screen right here, you can go ahead and confirm the scrap option. Once you do, you're going to see the pipe pistol appear on screen, but the standard launcher and MIRV launcher mods will still be options. Now press the right arrow key or right on the d-pad to open the available mods, and once this screen is open, you're going to press the down arrow key or down on the d-pad to hover over the MIRV launcher and just equip it onto the pipe weapon. Once you click on it, pipe weapon mods are going to appear, but don't worry, it is now equipped. Now you can back out of the weapons workbench and your pipe pistol now officially shoots 5 mini nukes at the cost of 138 bullet, which is the cheapest and most common ammo type in the commonwealth. All there is to do now is to finish modifying your pipe pistol, just don't change the barrel attachment unless you want to undo everything you just did. And if you want absolute maximum damage per second, you can equip the automatic receiver, which will allow you to fire automatic mini nuke clusters, but it's even more overpowered than it sounds, so I don't recommend it. If anything, it's probably more dangerous to you than your enemies. If you want something easier to follow along with while doing this, I will have a step-by-step -step list in the description, um, but that's pretty much it, so thanks for watching. If you have any questions or anything, just leave them in the comments and I'll respond to them as quick as I can.